Hello and welcome back to some more of my tabletop campaign on Roll20 with me, the Green Dragon. Today, apparently, a lot of people, well, Bacon and Nietzsche, I don't know what's happened to them, they didn't let me know ahead of time, and they haven't uh, shown up yet. And uh, me and Jack Lore are gonna start. Uh, Mads said he would show up in, maybe show up, somewhere between uh, 7 and 8, so uh, he could show up at any minute and uh, we'll just uh, add him into the action as it goes. So, Jackalore, maybe you want to do a short recap of what happened last time. I killed things. Done. That's a short re recap. Well, fair enough. You kill things. What things? I can make it longer if you want. <laughs> well, for one thing, uh, what do you think this means? Like, um, we haven't really covered that, right? You were attacked and by the Sabbat, and it was a pretty serious attack. It would have taken a certain amount of effort to put together. So, uh, what do you think this means? Someone actually noticed that we did something? In this case, it was in a bad way, because it was the Sabbath that noticed us, uh, noticed that we <coughs> went ahead and uh, took, uh, had taken over the chantry. Yeah, I did have you guys roll, well, those of you who had all specs of at least two, I had you roll detection rolls a couple of times in the previous sessions because you were being watched and in this case it was the Sabbat as you may well have guessed and not the Malkavians. So, 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 uh, is there anything you want to do or discuss with your ghoul or the other ghouls uh, while it's still light outside? I probably talked to Romina uh, if she uh, if she got the numbers on the uh, cars. Okay. Uh, yeah, she just uh, shakes her head. Uh, Master, I was too busy trying to build a barricade that could uh, hold back the enemy ghouls in the other room, and we were barely able to put together something sensible. It was... Uh, I mean, you... I think you saw the carnage for a second there. We needed every bit of delay we could get to pick off as many of them as we could. Well, you did, you did well either way. Was there anything... Uh, anything did you notice anything peculiar when they, while you, anything peculiar uh, while you are building a barricade? By the way. Well, I did see them going to the car we had left outside, out of the corner of my eye, when I was trying to ascertain the enemy numbers. But I really couldn't get the numbers on their cars. It was just a bad angle. But uh, yeah. Could you could you check the cars? Uh, I'm going to tell Bronson to check the cars. Okay. Malik isn't here. Could yeah. You tell him to do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Bronson very very carefully. Uh, one of the guys had a shotgun. Bronson picks that up and uses it for the moment to uh, peek outside. He is very very cautious he did not like being put on the ground like he was and um, a few long min uh, minutes later he reports that the car which was which you had slashed originally is apparently gone apparently a certain powerful we... vampire has uh, recovered his uh, his uh, red baby did we ever actually buy new tires for it you didn't. They must have repaired it while you are busy fighting and cleaning up. <laughs> At least there's something. <laughs> but yeah, apparently Tobias cares about that car. 
he wanted it back. And since you took a whole week and four sessions to sell it, I decided that it was time that it just went away. Ah, <laughs> I know, right? Well, there's no crying over spill, spilt milk. I'm going to tell Bronson to guard the uh, guard the main entrance and Romina to uh, to clear uh, clear up the other room and f uh, make a new, better barricade this time. Unless Bronson's better at doing that. Yeah, Romina just uh, she grabs uh, Chloe by the arm and uh, drags her to a. Uh, help with the task of building up the barricade, especially since Chloe still has her strength buffed. Which, you know, happened at the end of the last session. Yeah, I remember. I remember you doing that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, they uh, rebuild the barricade there. The couches are currently covered in blood and gore, and you're probably gonna want to buy new ones at some point. If you actually want and a common room to be presentable again. Once you actually start getting visitors here. So, indeed. Uh, if there is nothing else, we can uh, move to, uh, to, 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 to what happens af some hour after night. Well, you actually have enough time to uh, go outside before people show up. But, if you stay in the Chantry, then, at some point, a group of uh, vampires appears, very soon after Nightfall, and very carefully starts uh, checking out the Chantry, and noticing that... I go out to meet them. Well, do you have any idea who it is? I'm going to go out to meet them. Okay. Sure, do that. With my blade drawn. Alright, you can peek out the door. What you see is the uh, ninja and the uh, ventral primogen's child along with two other vampires you don't recognize. One of the vampires you don't recognize has a shotgun out, and the other one has very gangrel looking claws ready. The, uh, the uh, ninja actually uh, turns to the vampire in front and says, Sheriff, this, this is one of the Tremere, they're ours. And, uh, well, you, well, 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 you finally arrived. It's just too bad the fun's already over. We've already taken care of the uh, of the Sabbath. What were the what were those vampires called again? Well, they're thin bloods, fifteen. Generation. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, the uh, Sabbath thin bloods and the Schlachter. Okay. That's the way you want to play it? Insolence? Well, I'm kind of pissed today. Uh, well, I'm... Uh, I was mostly just be, uh, being being uh, neutral here. I was like, well, you're late, by the way. It's like, it's over. I almost fucking died. The sheriff just says, kneel. And you have no choice but to obey. Then he steps... Perfect. He steps up, looks down on you, with an menacing grin on his face. A pleasure to meet you. I am Philip Stacy, the child of Wolfgang Siekert. I'm so glad we could finally meet. I've heard so much about you. Do you say The pleasure anything? is mine. Through gritted teeth? Essentially, yes. Who did he say that he, he was uh, the child of? The prince. Oh, <laughs> no shit, he was eighth generation. Well, you don't know what Please. generation he is. 
Well, you know, he the Prince is 7th gen. Prince is 7th gen. Well, he has to be 8th gen. Unless he has diabolized someone of 7th gen, which I doubt. Which I highly doubt. Okay. No comment. You going to have uh, have him answer me? Uh, what did you say? Ah, the right. The pleasure is mine through gritted teeth, essentially. Okay. He just smiles and says, "Would you please show me what happened here?" And he essentially releases you from the command. You can lead him inside and, you know, explain the situation to him. Of course. Well, I was going to uh, uh, go to the prince. Uh, it, <coughs> I was going to meet the prince very, uh, very shortly. But apparently, he sent someone. To, uh, but, apparent, but since you are here, I might just well tell you. He just follows you inside, taking a careful note of what's going on around there. He actually... I step over the mounds of uh, of gore on the ground, uh, who probably have now by now turned into ash or whatever dust. Yeah, it's essentially a thick uh, gray sludge. And uh, point out, uh, oh, uh, there were f oh, there were like four of them, right? There four were five, five, but you managed to let one get away. Oh yeah, that one. Uh, <coughs> There were five. There were five of them. Three of them were killed in this room, and the one, one in the one one was using trying to obfuscate her way around. Was killed in the library mm -hmm. by my friend who were there. I pointed Malik, and this and the fifth one ra uh, was su was uh, successfully escaped. <laughs> well, we were occupied with ki with uh, killing the others. Hmm. And, and right there, I point at the at the pile of schlachta. Is where that that would be all of the schlachta that that were sent to kill us, but they are all dead right now. The gangrel standing next to you actually gives you a cheerful grin at that. I nod back at him, and I follow the sheriff. Yeah, he essentially proceeds to peek into the basement, even into the vault. Luckily, the uh, body of the uh, imprisoned and torpored Gangrel is stuffed in a chest with many broken bones to make him fit into that chest, incidentally. And he uh, doesn't discover that, but he's just taking a look around, making notes of what has changed since he might have been here before when assaulting the Chantry. He even goes uh, that would... Uh, uh Point at the barricades over while he was in the, uh, in, in the common room. That would be uh, that would be where they the schlacht uh, tried coming in, and hence why there is so much. This is so unclean around here. He just waves it away. It's no problem. I'm no stranger to combat uh, conditions. He actually goes over to the one of the bookshelves and uh, picks out the book that deals with the warding circle for the ghouls, and uh, actually flips it open for a second. I doubt you'll be able to understand anything within that book. You know, you don't object? Unless he knows thaumaturgy, which would be completely illegal, I doubt he know, uh, would be able to uh, read that book. Yeah, he just, after a few minutes, puts it back he walks around the bookshelves, detailing various rituals, incidentally, and he seems to be taking careful note of which books are here. Our library has been plundered by looters. I take care not to mention the fact that, well, they uh, I, I think they care to very, very, to take care to Make sure the looters part is very loud. <laughs> and 
Yeah, it's and not then, uh, like you suspect the prince of looting the place, right? It's random looters, some neonates off the street, right? Yes. <laughs> totally. Like... <laughs> He just smirks back at you and uh, turns to walk out after uh, taking. But our, we still, with some of the literals, we were able to recover. Mm hmm. Yeah. He... Then he will certainly notice the pile of. Uh, the, uh, the pile of. Sm uh, smudge on the floor by the chairs, uh, by the, uh, at the end of the table. Actually, did anyone finish off Tin Blood 5? You finished off the ones I, in that room, but this one isn't proper. I think he was. I think Malik. Uh, I think Malik killed her. Malik uh, shot her one last time in order to put her in torpor. Well, I, I would probably have done it. Uh, probably done it while I was. Well, <coughs> when I went uh, went back here. Okay. To check if she was dead, because seriously, we have no need for her. Okay. The sheriff actually turns you and asks were you uh, did you use fire were you unable to take any of them alive we could have used the information they have and the prince's blood would certainly have been enough to revive them we are forced to kill them due to their <coughs> due to the trouble we were in at the moment and we and we didn't want any of them getting dra uh, dragged away so we, and this was quite the battle we had. Yes, of course. I almost died here. I oh, I oh, uh, is I almost went uh, went into the, uh, I almost went into the, into torpor a few times, but I was able to. We were able to get uh, get, uh, get through. Well, if you get the chance in the future, remember. A war like this, fought in the shadows, is fought on information. He actually places his hands on your shoulders. We need living prisoners. Every living prisoner is worth three corpses. And he turns to walk out. I will remember that. Have a good night. He actually turns back to you. Oh, we're not done. You're coming with me to the prince. He will want to hear well, about this personally. Bring your then gear. I will come. I and I pro I ca and I walk uh, with him and a motion for me not to come with me. Okay, so uh, we can uh, switch over to the princess high rise. Whoop. I have a feeling, uh, Romina. I have a bad feeling that Romina is going. Is is going to be the princess ghoul? <laughs> Does seem ominous, right? Because nobody would otherwise, uh, otherwise, <coughs> no one would otherwise. And I apparently w uh, went back a page. Anyway, no one would otherwise call a ghoul to, t uh, to uh, the princess high rise unless it's the princess ghoul. I will stare very, very intently at Romina the whole way here. Uh, you can roll perception empathy. To see if uh, everything is... She just... She sh she's genuinely confused. I'm not even gonna roll for it. She just shrugs back at you like, what the fuck? Okay, so uh, Philip Stacy just walks in. Well, he knocks on the door, but he certainly doesn't need an appointment. He's the sheriff, and uh, he's part of the war effort. And I will be following him because you know. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. that's why I'm here. Yeah. So. Uh, can you can you move uh, Romina uh, back one square? Sure. Uh, Philip actually sits down, since he's and clearly... I stand. Yeah. He very respectfully talks to the prince. Uh, sire, they are dead. Apparently this time they uh, went after the wrong targets, and the Tremere 
butchered them almost to a man. The prince at this looks pretty surprised and turns to you, eyebrows raised. It is good to see you again. Yes, what he says is what is this, what your dear sheriff says is true. We the the entire attacking force was eliminated except for one of the, one thin blood which stumbled uh, which stumbled out and was unsuccessfully escaped. I have I also have a feeling that that a, uh, the certain Tobias. He, I do know his name, right? Uh, you know that's the name on the car, and yeah, you can guess that that would be his name. You haven't really uh, asked the Lord about records on any renegade Tremere, which you could have done. Uh, and I, I have, I have, a thing has, has been itching me. We encountered some interesting items in the uh, in the chantry after we had uh, later on. After we had, after we had returned, after we returned there, and we have, I have reason to believe that there, were, uh, there, there is a ro that the person we uh, we spoke about last time, the bald guy, is a is a rogue Tremere. Do you have any records if of do you know has there been any reportings of rogue Tremere done by the uh, done by the Tremere before the chaos ensued? Uh, he actually waves a hand. Yes, we're pretty sure he came in with the Sabbat force. He has been a thorn in our side, and you get a distinct feeling he was going to use a far more impolite phrase there for the past couple of weeks. We are well aware of Mr. Tobias. Well, he... He came. He must. He. Uh, I believe. I have a feeling he was there too. He just simply decided not to go and oh, enter no. into the fray himself. Oh no! Tobias values his own skin far too much to join in these daytime attacks. But it is nice to know that his special team of commandos has been taken care of. It will take him some time to rebuild it, and that will certainly be useful. You have done me a significant service. He actually takes out a piece of high-quality paper and starts scribbling on it while he's talking. They have raided several havens during the past couple of weeks and taken several vampires prisoner, which has uh, hampered our war effort since one of the people in question was one of my forces, in fact. One of the gangrel, and uh, well, information getting to the enemy is not a good thing. He, uh, Indeed. He uh, proceeds to sign the paper he has uh, swiftly scribbled, and using a lighter, he uh, melts some wax and uh, affixes a seal to it in a very old-fashioned sort of way. And uh, then he proceeds to hand it to you, noting up place opposite of his signature and telling you to uh, witness and sign it, and asking Philip Stacy to do the same. I quickly look uh, look at the paper and uh, what it says there, but uh, I will, of course, It gives your clan, it. as a group, the right to hold the lands surrounding the Chantry, like a block or two out, as your collective domain. What? I, of course, and of course, as I said, I signed. I signed the paper with my name, Seraph Blackstone. The prince smiles, and then he turns to you again. And uh, now, to more unpleasant business. I will have to dominate you in order to extract every detail I can about the attack and what happened there. Any clue could be valuable. That's why your ghoul is here. We. Uh, don't dominate people without, uh, well, unless there is some reason for it, without a witness present to ensure that there was no uh, ill play on the part of those doing it, simply because it makes things easier. Your goal may uh, stop the process at any time, but uh, 
this will need to be done. Of course, I am at your I am at your service, my prince. Okay, so here I forward again and and submit uh, submit to his domination. Uh, whatever, whatever you do it. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make a roll since at difficulty three him failing to get at least one success that is necessary in this is uh, ridiculous. Would he even have to succeed since I uh, since I uh, uh, since as I willfully give up any the any def defenses I have? Uh, not necessarily. I even suppose. yeah, is yeah, like even if I had like eight uh, eight temporary willpower at hand. Yeah. So yeah, I mean you could sort of roll it to see if he botched entirely, but you know. So yeah, he proceeds to question you using dominate three um, about the uh, exact nature of what happens, since dominate three can be used to extract memories as well as implant them or modify them. He doesn't modify you, he just, in any way, he just gets a very detailed account on what happened, more detailed than you would have been able to uh, give on your own, and the sheriff is, meanwhile, scribbling notes, and noting down armaments, how ragged their clothing was even, anything that could give them a clue as to how well uh, equipped enemies, what kind of resources they have, how important this group was in the larger scheme of their forces, and so on. I tell, of course, I'll be telling him everything since I don't exactly have a choice, but was there. Do we just go on to the next part? Uh, yeah. After uh, he does that, he uh, congratulates you on a job well done and uh, gives you permission to leave. So. Uh, I bow slightly and. Prepare one more to leave. thing, Serath. Show yes. the uh, paper I have just given to the Bruja <coughs> and Toreador Primogen. Once they have seen it, they will make sure to spread the news. We don't have official harpies here, but if there were any, those two would be it. Of course. I was planning on heading there, head, heading to, uh, heading there after all. A shadow almost seems to pass over the prince's face. He may well know that you're getting very buddy-buddy with Albert, and he might not entirely like it. <coughs> but yeah, you're free to go. So, uh, the Toreador Elysium next, I take it. Yep. And, Romina... and I'm guessing, we, uh, I'm guessing uh, I had Romina dri uh, drive, the ca uh, drive the car, uh, drive, drive me here. So she can just drive me back, uh, drive me to the uh, Elysiums. Sure. So, who is gonna be here? And uh, the princess secretary is busy working, so she's not at Elysium, certainly. Uh, what was the name of uh, Cory? Right, Cory is obviously here. The um, Doctor House and the Bruges are busy making friends, incidentally, so you can meet them. And uh, do you want to go straight yes. to Alberta, or are you? I uh, totally, I totally want to meet with the uh, with the uh, with the with the Promethea, the guy who almost who, who almost openly swore to kill me. Well, I'm sure it's not that bad. I'm sure it's not that bad. Totally. Uh, it is totally not that bad. Yeah, this guy you haven't met before, so you can certainly meet him. Uh, who else? Hmm. I'm uh, sure one of the ventral. I'm just a. Uh... Oh, and incidentally, Gianna is here. She smiles apologetically at you as you uh, walk by. Like I, I was going to walk over to the uh, to the uh, to Alberta's child over here okay. and uh, and ask if Alberta if Alberta yeah, if I could see Alberta. And 
he just nods and motions for you to go on ahead. Damn it. Yeah, apparently they are quite fine with you coming to visit, especially if you're bringing news. I'm actually gonna split the video here, so uh, just feel free to move on over. Nobody's gonna ambush you on the way to her office.